I had my uh, dream about uh, something like an atom bomb or some kind of radiation cloud, dust cloud, whatever. And it was coming from, uh, well, both from Europe and or wherever over there and also Atlanta, which is north of me. Um, and uh, so this is just a dream I had with the uh, sense of um, the, the cloud was everywhere and it came really fast and you couldn't avoid it. Uh, just a big, you know, like you see a cloud, a, a dust storm coming, and then it was on everything and through and passed and coming in and whatever. And so I was um, observing this and I saw that the people were in cars, uh, let's say trying to get out of the city, but there were too many cars and it was um, uh, uh, packed roads and like that. Um, but also in their day to day, they couldn't get away from it. Um, so that's the second one part of that. And I just was presenting that a, a dream that I've said once before. I'm uh, aware that um, there's a relation to this thing I wrote called the Star Rock uh, legend story. And uh, uh, also that I had set off an atom bomb I made fun of it because it's my last name also uh, in New York. And I went there and uh, spent a month or two singing everywhere, singing New You, et cetera, um, all the public places all over the city. And that was my atom bomb that went off in New York. And I didn't really even make the association related to that, but uh, I was doing the Star Rock new arc symphony kind of thing or recording all the musicians that were performing near me and uh, where i was and and you know like that but um so that was one and then there was a second atom bomb uh i think that would be this dream the first one was a dream that was about the bomb went off in new york and you couldn't escape it. and even if you got to hawaii uh, it wasn't far enough away, and the uh, people there, I remember you know, this vision of, uh, well, trying to get a rise above it, and also to show the people how to rise above it, um, which you would be describing, Jeremy, thank you for the uh, new you, you uh, that you're saying that we're like the only light, so to speak, a uh, little speck uh, here. Um, so if you want to call it that, but we could also look at ourselves as not the speck or look at without getting personal that we're actually the all of it. And so it, I don't know what to say, you know, I mean, I remember the atom bomb or the atom idea was that everything, all parts of the universe are as tiny as the tiniest. Everything is the tiniest or everything is all of the one, which is, doesn't matter what size that is because it's either, all, it's all huge or all a speck, same, you know, small or large, middle size, whatever, doesn't matter. It's just words to describe it, but um, that's that's a sense of that, you know, that there's really no distance and, and space time measurements and all of that and and plane levels and stuff you know you know in a sense or that each one of those things has that one iota uh everything and everyone is precious like that and uh, of that whole and of that oneness whatever um well, it's good to be able to try and describe it but it's not like it really needs to be it's like trying to describe a picasso painting or or um a van gogh or or, or anybody's um uh, uh, what's that guy, the modern artist from New York, you um, know, all his dots and circles and all that stuff, um, you know, squiggly lines and, you know, the modern artist, abstract. So um, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks, Jeremy and everybody. And just um, so there's two atom bombs, at least. And I think I'm wondering about a third, um, which maybe really is us. 
as the third atom bomb or the the completion of that part um which is like saying that we're presenting the real atom bomb in the sense of the knockout blow of everything that was ever before and all those ideas and the whole thing you know we're just kind of with the whole thing right in the present and so it's very important what we do i think you could say uh, or what we're not doing or not allowing ourselves to get involved with as well so